everyone, Cheeky Tan here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Elaine, we're going to be doing another vegan taste test. So let's get started. Looking forward to this. I enjoyed the last one. Chickpea crisps, Ceres Organics. Sriracha Thai chili. And it's made again. in Thailand. Oh, you got it. Yes. What they look like inside. Cardboard. Nice. Oh, yeah, they do look a bit like that. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, sugar. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oh, you're already into them. They're little triangle shapes. Mm. Mm. So what's sriracha? It's a hot sauce. They're not that hot. No, they're having a lot of heat in them. No. The sweet chili flavor is just there. I usually like chickpea snacks, but this, it's a little bit like cardboard, just just a little bit. You know what they remind me of? Those spider wheat biscuits. Mm. You know those really plain sort of biscuits? My mum always used to have in the house because she was always on a diet. It looks like it's all been blended up, mashed up, mixed up, and then squeezed into patterns and then baked. Do you like them? Yeah. This sounds weird, but they are a little cardboardy, but I still don't mind them. Mm. Can you taste the cardboard? No, I can't. <laughs> I quite like the flavour. You like cardboard? Of the chickpea. No, it's nice. It's yeah. really nice. It doesn't taste like cardboard at all. It's a very subtle flavour. It's not very hot. They're quite munchy. I bet you sit down and eat all those. <laughs> but here's the thing. If I get out a bag of potato chips yeah. and I get out these, will you go, I'll have these instead? Yeah. Well, I'm going to hold yeah, you to that later on. Gluten free, <laughs> MSG free, oven mm -hmm. baked. I think I'm into this vegan stuff. Yeah. Next up, we're going to try these chop balls. They're 100% vegan. They're made by Bite Society. I really like the graphics on this one. Look at the back there too. Cute little characters. This is salted caramel flavor infused chalk coating. Bite for what's right. Oh, that's cool. I like that saying. Comes in a Ziploc bag. Got a whole little story on the back there if you want to read that. Contains wheat and soy, may contain traces of nuts, tree nuts and milk due to the manufacturing environment. May contain milk but it's vegan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Only may, it may vegan? not. Vegan versus vegetarian though. What's the difference? Do you know? Mm. Okay, tell me. Vegans only eat vegetable stuff. We're vegetarians, they might eat eggs. Oh, yeah. oh, see you. They're yours for later. Thank you, I'll take two. Oh. Mm. Little crispy, bubbly, sort of rice sort of thing, isn't it? Mm, 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 mm. What's the smell I'm getting? They smell like coconut. I keep expecting these to be like Maltesers. I quite like the flavour in these though. Yeah. They have a coconutty taste to me and the chocolate has like that cool after a taste effect on it. You know what I mean? Like yep. it's like, mm. It's puffed rice, I was right. Ah. And see, automatically I want to eat these like Maltesers. You know how I gnaw the chocolate off on the outside? What? Here we go again. Right. I can't eat them like an adult. Mmm, they're quite nice. Tim's crawling around the floor picking up the things I dropped. Whoopsie. My foot's really itchy. Does that mean I'm coming into money? I don't know. You've probably got fleas. <laughs> I don't have fleas. Next we have vanilla mellows. They're egg and dairy free, gluten free, no artificial flavours, soy free. Vegetarian and vegan, no artificial colours. Nut and tree nut free. Is that uh, why that little squirrel looks really sad? Because it's got no nuts. Is that a squirrel? I thought it was a sloth originally. Tell me what that is, guys. What animal is that? It's a marshmallow <laughs> animal. Look at it. His body's made out of marshmallow. Little. Oh. Are they a special different flavour or are they just vanilla? Ooh. Have a look at these. Like little puffy pillows. They look like those packaging peanuts. Just oh. the same all the way through. I like that. Hmm. These are one of the nicest marshmallows I've ever had. Not too sweet. What I like about them too is they don't have that strange consistency. Hmm. They're easier to eat. You know how the marshmallow, well they're probably, the other ones are probably made with gelatin. I like these. Yeah, and have really those do. again. Mm. I think it's time for a um, beverage break. Yeah. We've got three drinks up next. Oat, almond, or coconut. Choose one for us, guys. Okay, we'll have this one. Nest Cafe Gold. I'm going to go for this oat Makona. I've got a tear here, thing that won't tear. I'll do it for you. Just what like colour is it? Well, it's like. Well, mine's a little bit darker. It's that colour. Ooh. Go up to the top of the handle. That's not about hand. oat, hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got a nice colour. Mmm. Smells alright. Mmm. You sound like a horse. No. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's actually alright. So, is it. Oh, is it like an oat milk? <laughs> oat milk, is it? it must be. Hmm. 
This is just almond flavoured. Wasn't sure at first, but I don't mind this. Let me have a taste of yours. Right. You can have a taste of mine. Mm, I think I like that one better. Mm. Sort of tastes like something you'd eat or drink to help your constitution. <laughs> Well, that's a rave review, everyone wants like, that, don't they? Sort of taste the fibres in that in it, very fibreish. Mm. I like the oat one, yeah, mm. I get that again, that's really nice. I think it's nicer than the almond. Yeah, I think so too, yum! It's like an oat milk coffee and it's pretty good. This is like an almond milk coffee and it's very good. This is better though. Try the coconut one too. Oh. Come on. Whoa. He's out of control, everybody. <laughs> I feel like Tim says careful to me about 20, 30, 40, 100 times a day. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I really dropped it. <laughs> careful, you're playing with hot water. Dude. Yeah, I'll hold it. Take why, your hand why, away. Why? No, that makes it harder, doesn't it? No, I don't want you scolding yourself. Oh, I can't see the level. <laughs> I can't see the level. Keep your hand at the level of your Did eye. Did you notice how she spilt them? She would have burned her hand and dropped the whole lot everywhere. I know That's what enough. I, I know what I'm doing. These ones get frothy inside. Yeah. Did you see that? All of these instant coffee things do one though. Didn't. That one didn't. This one this didn't. This one did actually. I that feel like I've been frothier. ripped off. This is like cappuccino. So this is the coconut flavored Makona. It smells like coconut. It smells like coconut. It looks like coconut. It's an eggplant. It's an eggplant. Mm. It's coconutty, but it's very sweet, sort of. Oh, I love the smell of it. Taking the sweetness out of the coconut or something. It's not artificial sweetness, but it's really, do you know what I mean? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that went down hard, didn't it? <laughs> I got a lump. A really big lump. <laughs> you got a big lump. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. I think out of the three, I like the coconut the best. Yeah, the coconut tastes really nice and sweet actually, and it's a lovely coffee. I love the coffee and coconut taste together. The coconut milk, really nice. I think the coconut's my favourite as well. Yeah. Oh, it's a lump, it's a lump. I found a lump. Enjoy it. Mm. Suck that up, princess. Oh yeah. See what it means? It sticks to your mouth. Yeah, look mm. when... Dragon puffs. How wow. exciting do these look? These are from Vegan Robs. Plant based, live and enjoy. Go vegan with probiotics, fire breathing. <gasps> Have a look in the bag. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, just like the picture. That blends in. Organic sorghum grain. What's a sorghum grain? <laughs> what? Sorghum Organic sorghum grain meal. Chili peppers. Sorghum grain. Is that made from like sawdust or? <laughs> I like these yum. Oh, and they're hot. Hot. Very hot. And they're white in the middle. Ah, oh, you know how hot they are? Mm. Oh, they're hot. Mm. <laughs> hot. I feel like I'm going red, am I? Mm. Am I? Mm. I'm hot. They may be hot. They're Take better. It up. <laughs> I'm having a moment. Yeah, they sort of get stuck to your teeth, but really lovely and spicy. Mm. Little bit salty, but not overly salty. Very, very chilly hot. And the consistency of them is really good. I like them. Yeah. yeah. Next, we're going to have a Himbia. Mit. It must be German This or is something. German, because okay. mit is with. With what? Natural? Raspberries. Only because there's pictures on the front. It looks good, doesn't it? Here's what it looks like. It's got little stripes on it. It looks pretty. Oh, wow. Mmm. There mm. it is. We break it in half, huh? Oh, yep. So do we have... Oh, see, it didn't work. That's well. why I got you to do it. <laughs> so it's in milk chocolate. Mm. Oh, yum. Mm. Mm. Oh, is it milk or dark chocolate? It's very dark for a milk chocolate, isn't it? It's a it's... dark milk chocolate. Mm. I love this. Really tasty. Wow. Very Moorish. That raspberry filling inside is lovely and sweet mm. and the flavour is really great. This reminds me of a box of chocolates. You know how you go and get the different flavours and you usually end up with horrible caramel ones that have no flavour or soul and you're actually after something like this? Does that make sense? I know what you're saying because you mm. just want to get that little burst of flavour in your chocolate. The chocolate's really nice and smooth consistency and it doesn't have that strange cold after effect. I don't know what this is made with or from. Very big pieces. That's the size of one piece. What company is this from? Hun? Something something. Read it for me. B-O-H-M-E. Bone. 
<laughs> I was so hoping you were going to say it. Boom! <laughs> I don't know what that's made with exactly, but that is absolutely delicious. Something I would eat again. I like that. So next up, we've got some popcorn. Popcorn with cashew. East barley cashews. Chocolate and caramel. This is chocolate cookies. Here's the beautiful you know ladies that make it. Oh, it actually has their names. Yeah. And this is made in what country? It's got to be Bali or Indonesia, hasn't okay. it? Indonesia, Bali. Ah. Easy to open. Have a look. Oh. Oh. oh, put money on that. You can actually see there's bits of chocolate in there and stuff. <gasps> see? Look at that. So there's supposed to be nuts in here too. Is that chocolate? There's a piece of nut. There's the cashew nut between those wow. two popcorns. There's the chocolate. I think I've got it covered, Tim. like a toffee consistency. It's pretty good. It just shatters in your mouth. It's like eating shards of glass. Have you eaten many shards of glass? <laughs> not lately. <laughs> the consistency of these is really good. They're not overly sweet, but I kind of like that about them. And then they've got that like, little chocolate crackery sort of thing. Big pieces of popcorn, which are lovely. I haven't had a cashew. There you go, Tammy. <laughs> cashew for Tammy. It reminds me a little bit of breakfast cereal. Even how the corn's been popped, it's sort of been restricted somehow. It's not like pop like it normally would pop. How would they restrict a piece of popcorn? Don't know. They're clever, these Balinese. There must be all the stuff that goes in them. Is that a vanilla bean? Sure is. Cashews and nuts. Really nice flavour combination. Not overly sweet, but I actually don't mind that with this one. Oh, yeah. That's surprising because I love my sweet popcorn. Score! What? What'd you get? Excuse me while I dive What'd deep. You get? Something for you. Got it. What is it? Tammy's going to have to eat this. What is it? <laughs> What is it? Just open it. No, it's one of those things in a food packaging that says do not eat. Oh yeah, do not eat. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you wanted me to eat it. Oh, it's a winner. All I can say do right now eat. is I have witnesses. I have witnesses to his plotting. If you think you've got an extra bonus flavouring sachet or whatever, no, you don't. Don't eat it. <laughs> I thought I won. <laughs> I thought I'd lost. Next we have nuts and berries by Veggio. And it's a dark chocolate. It looks like it has blueberries and strawberries, raspberries, and some mm. other sort of, what's that? Berry, cranberries. Right. Produced in Italy, by the way. Oh my gosh. You struggle more than I do with packaging. Because I try to do it neat. You're saying I don't try? I it's can't. a little bit broken. I'll just show you the back before I pull it out. It's got all little bits and pieces in the chocolate. Look at that. It's all right, doesn't it? And on the side, you can see the nice raspberries in there. I like. Mm. It's a dry, dark chocolate. Nice and bitter. But the relief of the raspberries in there is just really nice. Mm. And the nuts. It's balanced quite nicely. The little pops of the freeze-dried berries in it mm. are really quite tasty. They're bitter, but also sweet at the same mm. time. And then you've got those little nuts in there as well. The chocolate's quite good quality, really bitter, just how you want a dark chocolate to be. Oh no, this is why you didn't grab this one, because it's hard to say. No. <laughs> El Gusto Pizza, pizza flavoured stuff. Scrooge. Oh yeah, Scrooge. <laughs> and the company name is Loriri. There's a couple of eyes and knees in there that it over the place. Too many vowels for Jamie. Yeah, I can't do it. They've got garlic in it, tomato in it, like a pizza. <laughs> That's how you open a package. Wow, right there. Yes, take one. You're welcome. Wow. This is what they look like. You can see they've got little specks of things in there, which are herbs, I'm assuming. And is that salt on it? Is that salt on it? It's salt. Look, yeah. it's salt, how exciting. Got lots of herbs, smell it. Mm. Tastes like pizza. It does. The pizza flavour is in there, but what I quite like about these is they don't taste that weird sort of fake pizza that they sometimes, the flavour that they put into mm. pizza things sometimes. You know how it's over the top and like, it tastes like a billion and one chemicals? You can taste rosemary a lot in it. Is that rosemary? Well, it's not a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is that a rosemary tree? It's a Christmas tree. They're not overly salty or anything, but I don't mind them. So they're like a little crisp, a cracker. 
They're a little bit like bread, like dried bread. But it's nice because it's not the artificial herby taste to it, like you said. You can actually taste those little pops of the flavor in it. You can taste the herbs, you can taste a little bit of the tomato, a little bit of the onion. Really nice, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Elaine, for sending all of these amazing vegan products. We really do appreciate it. And so many delicious things. Thank you so much, Elaine. Yeah. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Elaine, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye for now.